Alrighty, fellas and fellas, welcome back to the Hot Damn Racing Team. And if you're new here, welcome. I just want to show you where I'm at with my air to water intercooler icebox deal. I'm really happy with it. I just took the truck to my buddy Greg to have the wiring done. I think I talked to you guys about how the wiring just wasn't where I wanted it to be. All right, I might have mentioned it only once or twice. Okay, but I think I did mention it and. Uh, we know I had transmission troubles and whatnot. So my buddy Greg, right? And if you guys have any questions about where to go in Las Vegas, Nevada for performance modifications, all right, you need something installed, you need something done, right? Even some regular maintenance, right? You just need some, you just need some normal maintenance like a lift kit or something, you know? Uh, just go ahead and uh, just go ahead and let me know. I'll give you the directions and uh, you'll be on your way. All right, just some uh, good old fun Fun and running. All right, so anyway, air to water intercooler setup. Greg wired it up for me and uh, he wired up my oil scavenge pump for the turbo and he installed the billet valve body deal that we looked at. All right, um, yeah. So man, I just need to hide like a wire or two. I'm pretty happy with it. It is compliant for the track. All right, a little bit of ice in there. That's the cool thing about this. All right, ice. Dropping those intake air temps like instantly. And I mean like instantly, this pump right here, this pump rules, guaranteed, all right, guaranteed. Uh, dropping the intake air temp. So right now it is uh, compliant to be able to go to the track and make runs. You're not allowed to have anything in the bed of the truck. It's gotta be bolted down and compliant. So I'll go through Texas tech inspection and they'll write it off. I'm pretty sure it'll be good to go. It's bolted down and I'm pretty sure it's compliant. Been out there a thousand times. Tailgate will be off when I make a run. All right, so, firing my switch. Greg put my switch right here. That's where I wanted my switch. I wanted to be able to come into the truck right where I'm at now. Throw ice in it, circulate it, put my hand on the intercooler right there. You don't know where my intercooler is. It's right here. Put my hand on it and I could feel it get cold and I know it's ready to go. I could drain some water and put more ice in it, right? Have it all set up real nice. But anyway, while I'm just, you know, sitting in the pits or whatnot, I don't want to have the key on and all kind of crazy stuff. I could just hit this switch and it cools quick. It, uh, oh yeah, we're splashing. You know, I want to go fishing. Whenever I, I get hot racing or whatnot, I just tell the cops this is a live bait well. I'm just trying to find the best of the bass, right? Hot now, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, bass fishing. Everybody likes the bass fish. So yeah, so that's the idea. Ice goes in there, cool it down, and the ice will melt, right? Like the first go around, it'll melt really fast because the intercooler is probably pretty hot from the trip down to the track. It takes a little while to cool off, especially in the hot summers out here. So this is also an advantage for me in the warmer weather. Everybody else is gonna have heat soaked uh, air temperatures. Not me. I'm gonna have some nice cold air, uh, basically all the time. So that's a pretty good deal there. Uh, yeah, so working out pretty good. All right, getting everything going. Of course, got to hide a wire or two there. All right, drain. When I want to drain it, so it's not a pain. I can just come down here, lever. Right, I still got to clean stuff up. Every, this truck's always under construction. Got to fix up some wiring and stuff. I still oil lines i never got around to order and a couple of the other ones that i'm gonna need here in the future i'm pretty sure and i, I just i've been kind of lazy on it because the system has been working so well right the only thing that hasn't been working that well is the transmission all right so i've been kind of putting a little bit of money into that when i can all right and the turbo is like fantastic you know basically everything about that yeah, air to water intercooled and uh without this without having the water circulating because i've drove around plenty of times without anything circulating or any kind of intercooler setup and the temps the temps are extreme like 170 issues sometimes 180 you know doing a pool uh that's not that good uh now now i mean i can 
it'll it'll stick temps for a long time low temps under 100 i don't see over 100 ever uh intake air temps even when it's hot outside and if i felt like it like now if i wanted to for any reason i could just stop at the store drain it a little bit throw ice in it and roll out and uh be blowing ambient probably about I don't know, 20 20 minutes or so until it uh warms back up but doesn't really get warm at all like the temperature in the water doesn't get affected uh affected sorry mouth's kind of dry affected unless uh you're getting into a boost right until you're making boost and then that's creating heat if you're if you're kind of just cruising along and you're staying in vacuum for the most part the temps stay low and temps go up they don't stay up you might have an idea it gets heat soaked it stays at one level no it will go down all right so it will go down while it's circulating always all right if you stay out of it it'll, it'll start going down all right all right good deal it's good for me all right this is a deal i wanted uh i've been daily driving the truck of course, the weather's been a little cooler. This is Las Vegas, so we do have hotter afternoons. And I don't, uh, I, don't I haven't had any issues with the uh, intercooling setup on this deal, all right? Can't say it's for everybody, but this is for me. This isn't gonna be a daily driver forever. I have a plan on getting something else just for daily driving. I wanna park this thing and really clean it up and I'm not really worried about the transmission deal. I can get the transmission together and then not be an idiot this time by basically just leaving it in the driveway and just going to a show, not being dumb. Uh, go to the drag strip, run it, don't be dumb, and then go back and park it. It's about where I'm at with this sucker right here. Really like the truck. But, uh... Yeah, I've been thinking a lot about it, guys. I don't know how much more I want to spend on it. I don't know if I want to go through all the trans swap deal. I don't know what I want to do. I'm stuck with I don't know what I want to do. Uh, the turbo system works. It's kind of all I really care about right now at this point. It works. It was successful. I can't complain. All right, but uh, I'm going to have to modernize a little bit here in the future. Can't be driving around at six speed. Can't handle any power. You know, it might be good for a fun, like, you know, like a show and go, but not a daily driver. Probably do pretty good that way. My problem is, is when any, well, you know, I feel like Beavis and Butthead. I, someone drives up next to me or get, you know, I feel... I feel like I'm like Beavis, you know. Are you threatening me? You know, that's how I kind of feel like, and I hit the gas on him, and there ain't nothing going on. I'm an irresponsible son's gun. Tell you, I am I'm pretty horrible. I didn't take it easy on it, but I was testing the turbo out a lot. You know, the R and D there was well worth it. R&D was worth trying to get the trans back together and not being an idiot this time. I know it works now. I don't have nothing to prove on that anymore. It's time to change the game. It's time to change it up. Hot damn hell yeah, y'all the baddest. Get some.